Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we're at the airfield today to fly and drive a cool little buggy car drone for you. Now we've had stuff like this on the channel before, uh, but not specifically this one. It looks a little different. It'll probably function a little differently than the others that we've had. And we always have fun with these things. I know they're goofy looking, but it's really cool to take something that's driving along the ground and then fly. You really start to get lost in just your imagination and you think, okay, driving and I get stuck and okay, I can save myself. Or if you run off the sidewalk and you're stuck in the grass, hey, I can fly. It's really cool. So let's take a closer look and see what comes in the box and then we'll fly it and drive it for you and see how it performs. Here you have it. It is kind of ugly. Yeah, they usually are. Uh, now luckily this one comes in around $30, $35. It is, uh, I think it's called the JJRC H23. And we'll have it linked in the description box below. I think that if you've never had one of these little guys before, not necessarily this specific one, because we don't know how it's gonna perform yet, but if you've never had one of these, you need to try one. They're really fun. And for pretty cheap, you can have a lot of fun with the kids and the family or, you know, uh, whatever. It's just, it's just really cool, really fun. Now here, it does come with its own transmitter, dedicated transmitter. It's not like you have to operate it from your phone or anything. If you got the blue one, it would match. I know. I have a blue one and a yellow one. I actually really, I like I that like yellow. I like yellow, but it I like it a lot. Match. I wish they had yellow transmitter to match it. Just four double A's, pretty standard operation here. At least it's nice and full size. It's not like one of those micro transmitters. And again, you got a transmitter. JJRC. No, huh? No, I'll no, no, no. So, and they, I don't think they can do that with the, with the, have we had one before with altitude hold? I'm not sure. I, think, I feel like they could. Remember that tank, the transforming tank we had by JJRC? Yeah. I think that one might've had altitude hold. I don't remember. I can't remember. You get two spare props and luckily they are actually the designed ones, just like the ones on the car. Yeah. Sometimes these companies will take a shortcut and the spare props that you get are just solid black instead of, or just a solid color instead of uh, the cool design. I like that black and yellow a lot. Comes with a little Phillips screwdriver in there and a USB charge cable for your LiPo battery. The battery is installed in the bottom here and I just have it kind of uh, tucked in there quickly. Uh, so we get out to the field a bit faster and it says right on it 750 milliamp hours It's a good size battery with a very common connector type. That's nice. They did not go proprietary. So big uh, Big thumbs up to them for doing that and the only downside to this It's a little tight in here on the space So you're not going to get any bigger than a 750 milliamp battery keep that in mind but uh, other than that I think we're uh, I think we're ready to fly. Let's fly drive. Quick little shout out to our buddies RC After Hours. They have a podcast that we love to tune into. They're family friendly and they also have a Facebook. They go live on their Facebook page with their podcast. Like what is every, it, Sunday morning? Yeah, almost every Sunday. Yeah, and I uh, just really, I like what they do. There's three guys, one of them's up in Canada, Andre, and uh, they got Mike and Chris, Chris uh, <laughs> right there in front of the camera. They have a lot of fun. They just love the hobby, just like us, and I sure would love to see them grow a few more followers. So be sure to check them out if you guys are, yeah. Hi, right, the RC Sailors episode's over. Now who do I watch? Go check these guys out, they're a lot of fun. So let's put this in the air and on the ground. When it's on the ground, you use the right joystick to drive it. So push it forward, like the tilt of the drone. Whoa, I thought it. I thought the other side was the front. Yeah, it, it is kind of backwards, isn't it? That's forward. And then we push back to go in reverse, and then you can steer left and right. But the way it steers, it's just like one tire gets power. It's, it's, if you go left and right, it cannot turn on a dime. You have to be driving. That's kind of unfortunate. We've had some that actually do steer. Yeah. So that's a little unfortunate, but I guess that's okay because we can get some throttle. And as soon as you give it throttle with the left stick, you're now a drone. So if you get stuck in a corner, we're driving right along, driving right along. And oh no, we ran off the road. We just fly up and we're good to go. <laughs> It's just fun. It is bright today. Oh, Jesus. And now we're driving. You're hard to film on this. I don't and know how to film this thing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. You're behind the poles. They can't even it's see okay. you. It's okay. Okay, let's go right there. <laughs> I am going to drive fast and then fly. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Drive as fast as I can and fly. Woo! Yeah, fun. I like it. 
I will say it's pretty limited on the ground though. Now that's that's full forward. We got some wind. So okay, the sun's right in my eyes and I can't even see if I'm focused. <laughs> Let's test the flying functions. We're gonna get Abby over in the shade so we can, can see this see. to film it. Let's see how it flies. It's super bright over there. Abby was struggling to see the camera. Let's get this in the air. I do love those yellow tips on the props. They look really good while it's flying. And let's face it, a flying car does look pretty cool. <laughs> All right, our rates are actually the yaw trim on this, so I'm gonna hit that. Oh, sorry, behind the shrub. There's rate two, and now we're now we're handling that wind. Now you're booking it. That's right. I wonder, will that impact the driving, the rates? Oh, good idea. We should check that. Okay, we'll test that. We'll test that. We can flip too. Oh a yeah, flipping a flying flipping flying car. Flying car. <laughs> we got a flipping flying car, Abby. There we go, nice. Can we do the infinite flips? Let's find out. Oh, okay, gotta get the timing right. Let's try this one more time. Can we do it? Oh, I was so close. Maybe we can, but you can't. <laughs> oh, you're funny. There we go. Whoa, lost the altitude. So yes, we can. Do it but, again. Oh, I bet you can't no, do it two no, times in a row. You're probably right, you're probably right. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Fail. There we go. It hits the ground. Yes, it does. <laughs> we can land on the helipad. Is oh, there headless mode or anything? Go. Okay. All right. So we wanted to see if let's. There's the highest rate. There is a headless mode. Let's test that really quickly. That's right there. That's In really. It's really. It's really funky. I didn't like the headless mode very much. Whoa. Yeah, it's kind of working. See. Oh my gosh. The all rate in the highest rate is pretty good. It's pretty fast. Look at that. That's hard to tell which way is forward. Yes, it is. The big bulky end is actually the front That's of the weird. car. That's weird. So I know, I know we got some shade here and it won't look amazing, but let's see if those rates are higher on the ground too. Okay. It doesn't seem like it. No. But it, oh, that turned really fast there. I just got lucky. It looked like the yaw increased like crazy when you hit rate three. The yaw is up much higher, yes, definitely. Okay, let's let's do I wanna fly out of here and I wanna take off off of the platform. You All ready? Alright, I'm ready. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Nice, good timing. Oh yeah, right over the shrub. That was cool. That was fun. <laughs> See, you just kinda use your imagination, have a little bit of fun with this. JJRC, they make good toy grade stuff. Seems to fly well. Abby, I know I didn't save you much juice, but what do you say you fly it? Okay. Now you're in the highest rate, so it's a little sensitive. Yeah, it's just weird that the bulky part is the front. It is. You'll get used to it though, I promise. Yeah. On the ground, ground, yeah, I know, it seemed oh, like... the back has green lights. Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the rates green. are high. You click the top right button on the shoulder oh, if you want to... That was the left. What's the left? Oops, I'm sorry. Nope. Nope, that the, was headless mode. No, I hit the left button, not the right button. The right one is actually flips. Uh, you, it's the yaw trim. You yaw trim left to go right down. What? what I'll do it here. I here, I'll do it. Right. here. I'll do it. Now you're in rate two. Should be a lot easier to fly. Rate three was pretty sensitive, but it did well. The little tires on there are made of foam, in case you guys are curious. Look at you go. Even rate two, the rates are pretty high, aren't they? Yeah. Honestly, it flies really well. As a drone, it is cool. If you think of it like this, if you think of it as a drone with, with the ability to do a little bit of ground driving, then it's pretty cool. Yeah. If you think of it as a car that can also fly, then I think you'd be disappointed because its car functionality is very, very limited. I'm yeah. not trying to sugarcoat this here, but just to put it in perspective for you guys. The lights are blinking. Now. Okay, yeah. Sorry, didn't save you much juice. By the time I get through the functions, it seems like there's not a lot of juice left. Oh, I'm missing. You got it. You got it. <laughs> nice. So that got about a five or six minute flight time. Uh, drive time. It's not flight amazing. Drive but time. Did you also count the drive time beforehand? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. That's pretty short, really. Uh, but. Not too worse. bad. It was seen worse. It's a lot of fun. For $30, roughly $30, $35, I think that's a blast. Uh, the vehicle on the ground driving is pretty limited. 
forward and back, and if you're lucky, you'll get a little bit of turning, but in the air, it's functioned exceptionally well. Very happy with how it flew. Transmitter was nice, full size, felt great. No major complaints. I wish I had two more minutes of flight time, but that's, that's this car drone. It just didn't fly very long. If you're interested, we'll have a link in the description box below. Can't wait to see you guys at RCS Fest and in the next video. Bye. Bye.